What is happening, man? Sites. So the Black Viking is back. I'm ready to react. And I love Irish trailers, and I've been watching them for a while. For some reason, I missed the last two. So I'm going to be doing Guardians of the Galaxy, and I'll be doing Planet of the Apes. All right, so let's get this in and do this. Hold on a second. Yeah. All right. Okay, okay, we got it. Keep your star pads on. Keep your star pads on. Without the rights to some of its most popular titles and its biggest stars contracts about to expire, <laughs> watch Marvel Studios scrape the bottom of the barrel for their obscure 70s comic book that barely anyone read, proving once and for all we'll see anything if you slap Marvel's name in front of it. That's true. Guardians of the Galaxy. Suit up for Marvel's attempt at Star Wars in a science fantasy adventure about heroes you've never heard of. Star Wars. Who? Protecting a planet none of them live on from an underdeveloped alien villain whose problems you couldn't care less about. Peace. We're really reaching here. This was a fun movie. Journey across the galaxy to meet this gang of lovable misfits. There's Captain Starboard from America, the human leader from a different time and place, like Captain America. Gamora, the black widowish leather clad female assassin, like Black Widow. Drax, the guy with the killer abs who doesn't understand our customs in a Thor kind of way. Groot, a big hulking tree. Get it? And Rocket, the wisecracking tech genius with a drinking problem like Tony Stark. What I'm trying to say is, they're the Space Avengers, but I guess it's technically not stealing if they're ripping off themselves. Watch the Guardians race to find an excuse for more Avenger sequels by chasing after the Infinity Stone, an orb of world-conquering power that no one bothers to guard, and a gem so powerful it can kill you just by touching it, unless you're this guy. Or you can join hands to disperse its power, unless you're these guys. Yeah. Or you can just jam it into a hammer and use it safely from there. Yeah. It's best not to think about it too hard. <laughs> you yeah. the Avengers was nerdy? You ain't seen nothing yet. Between all the action and comedy, get ready for a whole lot of space mumbo jumbo. I will throw 1,000 years of free justice on Xandar. What's important now is we get the Ravager's army to help us save Xandar. So we can give the stone to Yandu and the remnants of these cities. Were forged into concentrated ingots. Then, if you can figure any of that out, <laughs> try to figure out why this blue alien isn't working with this blue alien who's working for this blue alien to kill this green alien who both want to kill this purple alien, as does this Christmas colored alien. Yes, he does. But if you get confused, it's just really bad. the hero is still the white guy. So experience the swagger of a movie studio drunk on its own power as Marvel <laughs> trolls the world with balls out middle fingers to the audience they know they have in the palm of their hands. Oh, you like superheroes? Well, how about a movie that stars a f***ing raccoon in a f***ing tree? You like Vin Diesel? Yeah, well, we cast him and he only says uh, one yeah. f***ing line. We'll put them in stupid outfits and make them say space bullshit. Well, no, but you gotta do that when you're voice acting. You gotta get in the shit. Because who doesn't want to be in a f***ing Marvel movie? Hey, recognize that chubby idiot from Parks and Rec? We're gonna turn him into a sex symbol. That would be hilarious. Remember the worst movie we ever made, Howard the Duck? Stick that after the credits when everyone's expecting Avengers 2. It'll totally f*** with our fans and they'll love it anyways. Speaking of I which, remember it. Thanos from that one scene at the end of the Avengers a few years ago? Yes. Well, we're bringing him back, and he's still not doing shit. Why? Because f*** you. We're Marvel, that's why. What are you gonna do? Watch DC? <laughs> Thought so. Starring Marvel Chris number three, Marina Tiri, Drax on, Drax off, Chewbarka, The Coon, Blue Man Group, Dr. Steve Rule, and Darkseid. Adventures. <laughs> okay, I get where Star Lord's Walkman came from, but where do you get a tape deck for a spaceship? I have no idea. Galaxy Shack? <laughs> Be sure to subscribe for more honest trailers. Hey, screen junkies, want to see the coolest swing set ever built? <laughs>
Vin Diesel got into that shit. Oh, yeah, Groot. That's how you got to do it. You got to throw your whole body into voice acting when you're doing that shit. You can't be afraid to act like a crazy son of a bitch when you're doing it. That's exactly how it works. Just so you know. Coming from a voice actor who wants to get more voice acting parts. I think I'd be good at it. Any movie director's watching, I'm telling you. I could be almost anything you want me to be, goddammit. I'm telling you. Except for certain women. I can only I can only do a certain pitch of female voice. But whatever you need, from females to children to 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 dark sidious characters. All oh, everything you need, I got for you. So anyway, Max Sykes, post your comments below. Let me know what you thought about this honest trailer. It was good to me, as usual. Honest trailer. I don't think honest. Tra I don't think I ever don't laugh during an honest trailer review. So, post your comments below, and I'll see you in the next video. Foe. Planet of the Apes. One million subscribers.